Then came the day of unleavened bread, when the Passover must be killed. And he sent Peter and John. Go and prepare the Passover for us, that we may eat. Where do you want us to prepare? Behold, when you have entered the city, a man will meet you carrying a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house which he enters. Then you shall say to the master of the house, The teacher says to you, Where is the guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? Then he will show you a large, furnished upper room. There, make ready. So they went and found it just as he had said to them, and they prepared the Passover. When the hour had come, he sat down, and the twelve apostles with him. With fervent desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say to you, I will no longer eat of it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Then he took the cup and gave thanks. Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say to you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, gave thanks and broke it, and gave it to them. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, he also took the cup after supper. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. But behold, the hand of my betrayer is with me on the table, and truly the Son of Man goes as it has been determined. But woe to that man by whom he is betrayed. Then they began to question among themselves, which of them it was who would do this thing. Good evening, everybody. It is such a wonderful joy to be able to share communion with you tonight. And I know that as we've listened to the scriptures being read to us, it reminds us of this great and wonderful gift that God gave us. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Thank you, Jesus, for what you did on the cross. Thank you for your broken body and your blood that was shed so that we may have life and life eternal, so that we may become a part of God's precious family. And we want to thank you for that tonight. And so let's drink together tonight and eat together. And as we do so, let us remember the Lord, because he instructed us, as often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. So let's pray together, and then we'll eat and drink together. Thank you, Father, for loving us. Thank you for shedding your love abroad in our hearts. And thank you that tonight we can come and we can eat and drink the symbols that represent the broken body and the shed blood of Jesus for our salvation. Thank you for loving us, Father. We ask that you bless the table of the Lord tonight as we partake of the cup and we partake of the bread. And we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen.